An emergency plumber charges $65 as a call-out fee, plus an additional $75 per hour. He arrives at house at 9.30 and works to repair a water tank. If the total repair is $196.25, what time was the repair completed? So this problem is a couple of different steps. First of all, we need to come up with a formula that allows us to calculate how much time he actually spent there. So let's start with $65. We know that he charges $65 anyway, no matter how much time he spends in one place. And then he charges $75 per hour. So then he charges plus 75 per hour times some number of hours. We'll let x be that number of hours. So then his total charge is 196.25. So our formula is 196.25 is the same thing as 65 plus 75x. So to solve it, we need to first get rid of the 75, or 65, I mean. So we're going to subtract 65 from this side and subtract 65 from this side, 65.00. That gives us 75x equals 131.25. And then we need to get rid of the 75, so we'll divide both sides by 75, since we're multiplying here. Cancel, cancel, 131.25 divided by 75.00 x equals 1.75 so he was there for one and three quarters of an hour if he started at 930 then he went from 930 to 1030 and then three quarters of an hour is 45 more minutes so he went from 1030 to 1115 and he was done at 1115 to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, take the temperature in Fahrenheit and subtract 32, and then divide the result by 1.8. We need to write an equation that shows this conversion process, and then convert from 50 degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. So first, let's take a look at the equation. It says to take the temperature in Fahrenheit and subtract 32. So if we let F be the temperature in Fahrenheit, then F minus 32 would be the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32 degrees. Then it says to divide the result by 1.8. So we'll take that whole thing and divide by 1.8, and that will equal the degrees Celsius, which we'll call C. So there's our equation. Now we'll take this same equation and we'll substitute 50 in for our degrees Fahrenheit. So we have 50 minus 32, all divided by 1.8 equals or degrees Celsius. We can divide, we can subtract 50 uh, minus 32 right away, that's pretty easy. So 50 minus 32 is 18. Well, I'm glad we did that. 18 divided by 1.8, that's going to be a pretty easy division, equals degrees Celsius. And 18 divided by 1.8 is going to be 10. So 10 equals Celsius.